go, ball's up on the baseline, get stretched out. Oh, it's great to be out here with a, a new team and be on the floor and, and, and getting back to competing and seeing guys play hard and, and doing what we all love. Um, it, it's obviously been a challenge getting to this point. Uh, now that we're here, we're taking advantage of each and every day and doing what we can do to improve. I've kind of had a week to week approach. We've kind of, we've gone into each week looking at our schedule, figuring out what areas we need to improve on and try not to look too far beyond a week. Um, and, and you have a good day, then you have a good week, then you have a chance to have a good month and a good semester. Um, so we, we've been going week by week and the, the, the really unique, um, really unique aspect of this semester is it's hard to really gauge where you are. Typically you have checkpoints where you know by October 1 we need to be here, by October 21st we need to be here, by our first game we need to be here. Uh, we, it's really hard to gauge our progress and where we need to be because this is such uncharted territory. Uh, so our week by week approach is, is going good and we're just trying to get better each, each week and, and uh, surely we'll be prepared by January. And by the time we get into January and February in the heart of the season, um, our expectations will be heightened. Uh, when we play other teams, we have expectations on the level of play um, and how we need to play and the outcome of each game. So our goals don't really change. Uh, we expect to compete for championships in this program. Um, we expect to carry ourselves uh, with respect to people on this campus and this community and, and uh, compete at the highest level. It's kind of like my, my first year as a head coach all over again. We've got one player on this roster um, that, that played significant minutes last year and is a great player and is off to a good start in Sean Hopkins. Uh, but we, shoot, we, we, are, we are all learning again. And so it's, it was good experience for me last year to have to teach an entire new team um, a whole new system because we're doing it again this year. And that's not uncommon at this level with the high turnover rate that a lot of programs go through. Um, but it's definitely been a unique challenge and we're happy to have as much time as we have uh, this semester. Um, even though we've got our hands tied in some areas with what we're able to do, uh, we, we're taking advantage of all the time that we have and getting to know these players even better and what their strengths are and what we need to work on. Um, and, and, and hopefully uh, our improvement continues like we have throughout this semester and we'll be ready to go come January 20th or whenever we start. Recruiting um, has been a challenge um, and it's, it's been a challenge for everybody at each level. Um, you know, you, you kind of lose the ability to go put your eyes on, on the talent. Um, and one thing I really missed on was being able to go look families in their eye, look the parents in the eye, look the kid in the eye, and, and really tell them what, what we are about here at Butler and get a feel for what they're about. Um, so you had to really do your homework and make the extra calls and, and really evaluate film as best you can um, so that you get the level of player that you need and, and of course the, the level of person that you want to be a part of your program. Um, so you had to do a little bit more homework and be a little bit more thorough um, with, with the resources that we had. So it was definitely a challenge, but all in all, I'm very happy with the group we put together. We've got very, very quality people here in this program, which, which is going to be a staple for a long time. It feels very good to be back out here on the floor playing again after a long layoff. It feels good to um, be around coaches, being coached up, getting ready for the season. Just taking it day by day. Make sure we stay healthy, everyone, so we'll be ready for the season. Also, focusing on school because school is the most important thing. That's the reason why we're here. Um, if we don't pass this semester, then we won't be eligible to play next semester. And just t um, enjoying that we be we are back and playing basketball again. Finally, feels good um, being back, um, having that little delay because of COVID and. Everybody getting sent home. It was it was pretty tough. Um, all basketball courts, weight rooms shut down. It was it was tough. But now since we're back and we're getting back into shape, basketball shape, even though we still have some time till January, so we can get in shape and get our fundamentals and everything right. So whenever we do play, we can be able to uh, work on the stuff we have been working on. So it's going to help us in the long run. Being back and being able to play again is going to be real fun. I'm pretty happy for the challenge.